Adding a link to a page is really very simple. Um, you can do this with code or with the Dreamweaver properties panel. And uh, it requires, if you're going to link just from one web page to another web page, it requires that you have created both pages. So I'm going to link cyanotype impressions, this text, um, which is right now in the code, just um, nested between a paragraph and a closed paragraph tag, to uh, the final what the final page looks like uh, for chapter three, the cyanotype.html page. So I have that page open just so I see that it's there. I don't actually need to have it open, but just for the purpose of demonstration, this is the page I'm going to link to. Um, so what you'll do to link from one page to another is you have to set an anchor on the first page. And you do that uh, if you're going to use the properties panel just by selecting the linkable text. So in this case, the text cyanotype impressions has been selected in the design window. And then I'm just going to use the link area in the properties panel. Now notice the properties panel has an HTML um, kind of set of settings or a CSS uh, group of settings. So in order to add the um, href tag, the ahref tag, which is an HTML property or element, we need to be in the HTML area. So while looking at the settings in the HTML properties, I'm going to go to the link box and I'm just going to click um, on the browse for file folder. You could actually just type in the name. So if I knew for sure that it's cyanotype.html, I could just type that in right there and that would work if I click out of that box. I'm gonna hit Command Z on my keypad. Um, I never do that because um, that opens me to errors, uh, typos and errors. So instead I'll browse for file and in my chapter three folder, I'll just double click the file. Now I can see that the code has been added. And the code is A, which stands for an anchor, and then href, a hyperlink reference, um, is equivalent to the file cyanotype.html. Notice that this tag opens here, and then my clickable text follows the tag, and when my clickable text uh, comes to an end, then I close that anchor tag. So we're really dealing with the A tag um, and specifically uh, with the anchor, we are adding a hypertext reference. So A and then hypertext reference is equal to whatever the page name is. Surround your clickable text with the A and close A tag. I could choose File Save, and then I could go ahead and view this in a browser. And I can see that in my browser now, Cyanotype Impressions becomes a link, and if I click it, it goes to that cyanotype.html page.